I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For our morning meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 23, verses 22 to 25. Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. Buy the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bear thee shall rejoice. We human beings, we cannot understand the divine mysteries using our corruptible wisdom. But our Heavenly Father teaches us many things through our life's experiences and relations that we have. It helps us not just to have the knowledge, but even experience it. We know that God loves us and He is our Father who has created us and cares for us, us each moment. We may not be able to understand the heart of our Father fully, as many things are beyond our imagination and comprehension. But the experiences of parenthood teaches us many things. Here in this scripture, the Spirit of God shows us the heart of a father, the desire that he has in his heart. The scripture says, Hearken unto thy father that begat thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old. King Solomon, as a child, was obedient to his father and hearkened to the words of his father, King David. And it helped him to be, to have that right relationship with Almighty God and to walk in his path. God was pleased with him and even answered his sincere prayers when he asked for wisdom to lead the nation. And now King Solomon might be yearning the same from his son, so that he may be a blessing for his generations. But the sad thing is that Solomon himself turned away from the instruction of his father, and that led him and his whole family to destruction. King Solomon will be blamed for the spiritual destruction of his family, and he might have regretted and suffered much pain for his foolish acts. But that is not the case with our Heavenly Father. A Father in heaven who is perfect and holy loves and guides us according to His divine wisdom so that we may be with Him for eternity. Let us not ignore the instructions of our Father who has created us with a great purpose. Our days in this world are very few compared to eternity and each day is much precious to us as it is the opportunity for our preparation. Once we miss it, we will never be able to replace it. So as a child of God, let us never deny the instructions of our Father. Let us not be a reason of sorrow for His heart. Let us not ignore His love and go after this world which tries to take away from the path of our Father. The Holy Scripture says, Despise not the mother when she is old. A mother is the one who suffers more for a child. She sacrifices our comfort and pleasures for the well-being of her children. Look at our Heavenly Father. He left His glory above and suffered for us. And a person can understand the mystery of the love of cross only through the wisdom given by the Holy Spirit. Let us keep aside the Gentiles whose eyes are not yet open. But we as the children of God, who have tasted the grace and love of God abundantly, Many a times despise the love and words of God, thinking we are perfect and we can walk on our own. Unknowingly, pride creeps in and we commit the same mistakes like the first Adam who thought that he could walk on his own. Here the scripture says, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Let us not sell the truth to gather the pleasures and riches of this perishing world. Let us be watchful and keep the wisdom, instruction and understanding which we have received as a blessing from our Father. The Father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, 
and he that begetteth a wise child shall have joy of him thy father and thy mother shall be glad and she that bear thee shall rejoice yes let our heavenly father rejoice as we are growing daily according to his will let us be overcomers and reach the perfection which god intends from our life let us not be a reason of sorrow for our fathers remember the words that our lord jesus told judas it was good if you were not born let us not live to hear these words let us love the father and not despise his words each word is for our good let us leave this world making our father proud may the lord help and strengthen us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful morning thank you for speaking to us thank you for your instructions as we start a new day father guide us help us to be careful thank you for the parents that you have given us lord help us to love them cherish each word they say and through them you are teaching us how great you are you are our father you are our mother you are our everything thank you lord lead us and guide us help us to be a blessing for others in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha